Skyrocketing fuel costs have further rised in recent weeks, and as a result, drivers of cargo trucks which run on diesel are greatly distressed. As the government lowered the fuel tax in a bid to stabilise prices, truck drivers are said to be receiving smaller subsidies. At this Hubbard truck terminal in Seoul, cargo truckers express their frustration over surging diesel prices. In fact, the price of diesel has been setting new highs in recent days. There are some 3.4 million lorries nationwide that run on diesel. The government is taking measures such as an expanded fuel tax cut, but concerns have not yet been alleviated. The tax reduction has rather subsequently reduced the amount of fuel subsidies truckers receive from the government. This is because fuel taxes and fuel subsidies are interconnected. The current 30 percent tax cut has brought down subsidies by half. If the tax cut is expanded to 37 percent, as the government announced on Monday, the subsidy amount will then drop to less than half what it used to be before tax cuts were introduced. In order to address this concern, the government adopted a new scheme last month under which the barometer for subsidy provision will be lowered from the current 1,751 per liter to 1,701 starting next month. For instance, if diesel prices stand at 2,101 per liter, which is 401 higher than 1,701, truck drivers will receive half that difference, that is 201, in subsidies. However, if we compare the original subsidy which takes a hit when the fuel tax cut is expanded to 37 percent and the new rule which increases subsidies from next month, drivers would still receive a smaller payment in total. Remaining policy options include cutting tariffs on crude oil imports. Finance Minister Chu kyung oh said the government will further observe the situation before deciding on other measures.